can call me Joker. Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And for all of our new subscribers over the last little while, thank you so much. Thank you. And our old subscribers, thank you too. It means a lot and I love talking Batman, Penguin, Star Wars and more with all of you. So thank you so much. And if you don't believe me, well, you don't got it. The Penguin has just one episode to go and it has been a colossal hit for HBO. It's been insane. The ratings got bigger and bigger every week and the show itself, in my opinion, has been getting better and better every week. It has been one large story that they've told through seven chunks thus far and they've all been spectacular to see fleshed out characters interesting dynamics and the bad guys being bad guys that's what i love a week or so ago i did a video on the channel that you could check out where i talked about how matt reeves has been talking with hbo about doing more villain centric shows the idea here is that Batman's perspective is what we would see in all of the movies and the shows would be from the villain's point of view and we would get their stories and kind of their origin stories. He says that in the comic books he always liked that the villains kind of became who they were because of the Batman. The Batman kind of drew that out of them and they discovered who they were through his existence and that's what these shows could be. I'm not here to talk about me. There's been no conversations about what these shows would be or what characters would be in them. There's obviously a ton of speculation. You know, if Sophia survives, obviously that's your big one right there. But you have Mr. Freeze, you have Mad Hatter, you have Professor Pig, you have <laughs> a Riddler maybe, I guess. But the one that's coming up now is the Joker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, since I recorded this video, James Gunn has come out and refuted these claims saying that a Joker series is not being discussed nor has even come up at this time. At this time, we can all speculate that further down the road it might come up because we know that HBO and Matt Reeves have spoken about developing other Batman villains into HBO series, giving their origin stories in these series. And the other half of the original rumor was that the Joker series would lead into the Batman 3, meaning that even if this was an idea, those conversations might not happen for a little while. So, with all that out of the way, let's get right back into the video that I recorded previously. And this is from worldofreal.com from the Marvel Legion podcast. They're saying that one of the HBO shows, possibly the next HBO show for a villain story, is going to be on Barry Keoghan's Joker. That's right, the Joker who had one scene, and that one scene that was cut from the film, which I think was a spectacular uh, scene. I, you know, I don't like to judge whether a scene should have been cut or not, and obviously the movie's very long and it needs to flow, and who knows how the scene would have worked, but that was a great scene. I I was so happy when they released it, and you watch it, you're like, okay, there's a different dynamic here between Batman and the Joker, and it's very intriguing to see, and I would like to see this one go a little bit more. It seems a little bit more along the lines of what I believe David Goyer was saying about how they're going to utilize the Joker in The Dark Knight Rises, whatever it would have been called at that time. They were going to have Joker kind of playing the same type of role, but I like that we had that in there, and I like that it was very subtle, and he met with Riddler, obviously, at the end, and you're like, oh, the rogues gallery, they're doing it, they're all coming together and knowing each other and whatnot in this aspect, but this is the rumor now that he's gonna get his own show on HBO, an eight-part series, to uncover who the Riddler, who the Joker actually is. I wanna know what you guys think of a Joker-centric show in the comments down below. And then they're saying that in the Batman 3, which is very far down the line, I would take all of this with a giant grain of salt, that Joker will be the big bad in that movie. My hope is that they don't go that way. Although I hope they go a little bit that way, but not all the way. Am I down for a Joker, eight part Joker series on HBO? I would say, you know what? We've been inundated with the Joker, obviously. We just had Joker, the movie, and then the sequel, which everybody loved and made a ton of money. But we've kind of been inundated with the Joker, so do we need another Joker show or movie show about this character? Typically, I'd probably say no, but let's move on. I've had enough Joker. But you give me this Penguin show, and you give me this version of the Joker that is unlike any Joker we've really seen before, I'm kind of like, all right, all right, let's do it. Now, again, I don't know how real this is or whatnot. No one's really reporting it. It hasn't broken out. So as I'm recording, this hasn't broken out there yet. But I'd be very intrigued to see what they could do with this Joker in this world. Because as you know, this Joker was based heavily on the 1928 silent film, The Man Who Laughs, based on a novel, novel by Victor Hugo. It's like the Phantom of the Opera, Reeves says. He has a disease where he can't stop smiling and it's horrific and he looks horrific. I think, you know, you could use aspects of that, I guess, in there. 
but you could take this character and really flesh him out because while he seems mad, he's not quite Jack Nicholson mad. He's not even Heath Ledger mad, and he's definitely not Arthur Fleck mad. He's, his, he's definitely his own character, and to flesh it out, to see what makes him tick, where he could go, and how he descends even further into madness, ha 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 ha, that could be an intriguing story. One other direction they could potentially go is a direct continuation or collaboration with the Penguin. Obviously it's all part of the same universe so they should all connect. With that being said, in the Penguin we have Dr. Julian Rush who is a psychiatrist who's working with Sophia Falcone. He obviously knows about Oz, knows about the Penguin, but he knows other doctors as well. And in episode seven, we hear Dr. Julian Rush discuss with Sophia Gigante that he has a friend psychiatrist working at a children's hospital who spoke to Sophia's cousin. Now, in my review of episode seven, Top Hat, I speculated that he could be referring to Harley Quinn. That was the first name that obviously came to my mind. Now, I never suspected that Harley Quinn would actually exist in this world. I thought it was just a nice little subtle nod for fans to go, oh, I know who he could be talking about, but you never see that come to fruition. But if this report is accurate, if they are working on a Joker series, why not have that aspect thrown in there? Why not have a psychiatrist like Harley Quinn added to the Joker. Is she overused or is she underused? I'm not sure at this point. I don't think on film, while I thought some of what Margot Robbie did was fantastic, I don't think her, char her character has been utilized to her full potential as of yet in the movies. And I think this now gives them an outlet to tell a story about Harley Quinn through eight hours. You have a whole television arc to do so. I mean, if you look at the Penguin, again, you have Sophia Gigante, formerly Falcone, with Penguin, and they're going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. They're matching head-to-head, neck-to-neck. They're doing everything parallel with each other, and we're following their stories, and both of them are intriguing characters, and we have invested our time into what they're going to do with them, and they've done a fantastic job. The same could be said of Harley Quinn, Dr. Harleen Quinzel. She could be Joker's doctor, and we can watch her descent into madness if that were the case, if they were to add that in. I think it's another way to have all these connect. And it would also, while it would also be another show with, obviously you have multiple characters within these series, but it gives you another strong character, another one from the comics to evolve and show us in another iteration that I think this way would actually work with having Dr. Harleen Quinzel in the series would be could be monumental and finally give the character her live action representation she deserves. But I would love to see maybe the Batman 3 take on a storyline such as the war of jokes and riddles. The story delves into the moral dilemmas Batman faces, including his ultimate decision to potentially kill someone to stop the violence. The arc blends action and psychological depth, providing insights into Bruce Wayne's early days as Gotham's protector and how these events shape his character going forward. I like the idea of the war of jokes and riddles because it is during Batman's year two with both a Joker and Riddler competing to defeat Batman, plunging Gotham into chaos. The war sees factions forming around two criminals with various villains like Deadshot, Deathstroke, and Kite Man playing key roles. And we know that there are a lot of villains in the Reevesverse already established. They don't have to be necessarily the ones in this comic. And you take, take, take pieces of this, pieces of No Man's Land. I think we can have a really fun movie. Again, this is all just speculation, grain of salt right now, but I'm down for it. I'm obviously, I mean, this show, Penguin was so good. I've been doing videos on it the whole time. If you haven't seen them, check them out. I, I'm just really enjoying it. And I have so much faith in whatever else they give us that I think I would be on board with that too. I can't see them screwing anything up at this point. Who knows? Who knows where it goes down the line? But right now, I can't see them screwing any of this up. I'm very excited to see what they would do. But a Joker eight part series, is he overplayed? Maybe, is Batman overplayed? Maybe, maybe you deal with some of the smaller villains and take it from there. But for now, right now, the only villains that really exist are, Bat are Riddler, Joker, Catwoman, and Penguin, and Penguin's done. We've done Penguin. We'll have to see what happens in the Batman 2 coming out soon. <laughs> coming out in a few years. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Give us a like and subscribe. And until next time, maybe the master of your own universe.